Let's spend some time with the Mariners and the A's, right? Train and the Mariners, they went on that, that red-hot stretch, and we are on the show like, oh, man, like the American League's pretty much sewn up. Or is it? Because the A's coming into tonight are only five back of the Mariners in the wild card mm -hmm. spot because they've been hot. Will they catch them? I, I believe they'll make it close. I, I believe they'll make it competitive. And then one thing about Oakland, they're not playing with the same type of pressure that the San Francisco right. Giants play. You know, they, they're, they're definitely under the radar. And the thing that's key is Seattle's lost their number one and their number two. Felix has been bad and been hurt. And now mm. Paxson goes down, puts a ton of pressure on the supporting cast of Gon Gonzalez and League. So we'll see where it goes as far as trying to keep guys in the ballpark. Yes, the Mariners can score, but as you can see, they're going to give up a ton of runs is going to put a ton of pressure on their on their offense and Oak Town man they're, they're starting yeah. to feel it they're smelling blood in the water man and I think they're two identical ball clubs so I think they'll be able to catch them and make it fun but well, listen man I know they have the best record in baseball since June 15th you better not hate let's, them. Hey, and, and it's where I was first brought up man but <laughs> let, let's not let's not get crazy here there's right an now. Oakland ball come on, I, know, I don't even know what to tell we you we love man. you and don't you ever <laughs> come back to the Bay don't you ever come I, back hey I love what <laughs> Billy Bean has done and I'm so proud of the product that he's put on the field right they're having their run just like the Mariners had their run the Astros are still the best team in that division no doubt the Mariners are pretty good they need to continue to keep that momentum going because because Oakland's right on their tail. Uh, I, I, I just feel like, you know, you got Piscotti, you got Lowry, Davis, Chapman. The team is better, but they're not quite ready to go to the playoffs just yet. I think it's going to be fascinating with the trade deadline because you know that the Mariners would like to make a deal. I don't know that they have a big deal in them. I don't know that they have enough right. pieces I don't think to they make have a big enough. deal. I think the A's have enough to make a big deal if they want it. So let's see if Billy Bean does it. We saw he's done that, right? He's Come out it. your pockets, Billy. He's done it. You got Lester. He got Samarja Cespedes, too. Samarja. He went out yep. and made big... So, I, I'm with you. I, I want to see what happens at the deadline. Yeah. I think the Mariners will make some sort of move or maybe moves. I think the A's have the ability, if they want, to make a monster move. A loudest 15,000 you will ever hear in baseball. <laughs> and they believe in each other. That's the one thing that you're seeing in, in that locker room. I know they have my boy Edwin Jackson. Yeah, surgeon, it's in the night. But, but you never know. I mean, like I said, they're playing with no pressure, and sometimes all you need to do is believe in each other in that locker room to get it done. I think they're going to make a race well, out listen, of it. Listen, man, if, if you want to get these guys in the division, they're 15 and 26 in their own division. So this team needs to step up and play better in the second half because if you want to move up in the level or if you want to move up in the rankings or in, you know, in the division, you have to beat the guys in front of you. Yeah. And they haven't done a good job. I do think the teams are similar. I really do. And, and Paxton is the one thing that makes the Mariners different. But um, we'll see. Only five games separating.